Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I will be showing my Black Crystal Caveco Sport Pen. Now this was a USA exclusive. Uh, it's been at least a year since I bought this. I can't remember 100% if it's been a year or two years, but I have had this for a little while and have been using it. I really enjoy Caveco Sports. I use them as travel pens and pocket pens, and I, I tend to keep colored inks in them so I have more of a variety with my writing. Um, this one, I really love. The name Black Crystal obviously drew me in, and it came in this really cool black tin. And you get a couple of stickers and a history of Caveco Sports came with a pack of cartridges, which I've actually never used, but probably should. Pearl Black is a very intriguing name. And then here's the pen itself. It came with a black clip. And Black Crystal, uh, the idea was to do all of the accents in black, which they did, and I love it. I'm not a huge demonstrator fan, but if you add black accents, I, I really enjoy them. I think aesthetically they are quite pleasing and very sharp. I love the clip design. I like how they've added all of the extra branding to it. I know in previous years they were not quite as attractive in my opinion. Very much like this design. The nib itself is also black, and they put a diamond-like coating on it. And I believe they abbreviate it to DLC. I chose a fine nib, which is my only regret with this pen. <laughs> I kind of figured it at the time. I'm like, you're going to want a medium nib, but I needed a fine nib. I needed a little pocket pen with a fine nib at the time, and I still use it. I use it a lot. I keep uh, writer's blood, diamond writer's blood in it at all times, and so I use it for countering my already written notes. So I'll write notes on top of notes I've already written. So really good thing to do with red ink and a fine nib. So I have used this pen a lot. It has been dumped in my purse. It's been kept in pockets. It has been completely abused, which I hate to do with special production pens. But with a little Caveco Sport, I mean, you want it to work for you. It's doing its job really enjoy this pen. So I'll do a quick writing sample and I have a medium nibbed Caveco Sport to show the difference, if any. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like there isn't too much difference between the fine and the medium nib except it just might be a little scratchier, the fine. So this is their aluminum sport. So it's a heftier pen. It feels quite weighty. And I really like that. This is a medium nib. I'll start off with the black crystal. I do post to this pen. I find that to be more comfortable. So pick a sport. Crystal, fine nib, and this is Diamine Writer's Blood. And I am not a grid page user per se, I do not use them correctly. <laughs> But I this is a very comfortable writer, writes very well. Just a little scratchier than the medium nib, I think. And for the medium. This ink should be American blue. from Private Reserve. Give you an up close. 
gloss on that. So as far as the difference goes between the medium and the fine, I don't really think it's that much of a difference. It's just a little scratchier, a little thinner overall. Anyway, that has been my Black Crystal Covego Sport. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.